Linux has an ever-growing games library and 2018 has been living proof that publishers aren't turning their backs on it anytime soon. In this video we round up the best Linux games released so far this year. You can buy all the games in this list on Steam using the links in the description. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and here is our pick of the best Linux games of 2018 so far. Linux may not be establishing itself as the gamer's platform of choice anytime soon. The lack of success with Valve's Steam machines seems a poignant reminder of that, but that doesn't mean that the platform isn't steadily growing with its fair share of great games. From indie hits to glorious RPGs, 2018 has already been a solid year for Linux games. Here we list our five favourites so far. Pillars of Eternity 2 – Deadfire one of the titles that best represents the CRPG revival of recent years makes your typical Bethesda RPG look like a facile action adventure. The latest entry in the majestic Pillars of Eternity series has a more buccaneering slant as you sail with a crew around islands filled with adventures and peril. Adding naval combat to the mix, Deadfire continues with the rich storytelling and excellent writing of its predecessor while building on those beautiful graphics and hand-painted backgrounds of the original game. This is a deep and unquestionably hardcore RPG that may cause some to bounce off it, but those who take to it will be absorbed in its world for months. Slay the Spire Still in early access, but already one of the best games of the year, Slay the Spire is a deck building card game that's embellished by a vibrant visual style and roguelike mechanics that'll leave you coming back for more after each infuriating but probably deserved death. With endless card combinations and a different layout each time you play, Slay the Spire feels like the realisation of all the best systems that have been rocking the indie scene in recent years. Card games and a permadeath adventure rolled into one. And we repeat that it's still in early access, so it's only going to get better. Battletech as close as we get on this list to a blockbuster game, Battletech is an intergalactic war game based on a tabletop game where you load up a team of mechs and guide them through a campaign of rich turn-based battles. The action takes place across a range of terrain from frigid wastelands to golden sun-soaked climbs as you load your squad of four with hulking hot weaponry taking on rival squads. If this sounds a little mech warrior to you, then you're thinking along the right track, albeit this one's more focused on tactics than outright action. Alongside a campaign that sees you navigate your way through a cosmic conflict, the multiplayer mode is also likely to consume untold hours of your life. Dead Cells This one deserves highlighting as the combat platformer of the year with its rogue light structure. Dead Cells throws you into a dark yet gorgeously coloured world where you slash and dodge your way through procedurally generated levels. It's a bit like 2D Dark Souls if Dark Souls were saturated in vibrant neon colours. Dead Cells can be merciless, but its precise and responsive controls ensure that you only ever have yourself to blame for failure, and its upgrade system that carries over between runs ensures that you always have some sense of progress. Dead Cells is a zenith of pixel game graphics, animations and mechanics, a timely reminder of just how much can be achieved without the excesses of 3D graphics. Iconoclasts A little less known than some of the above, this is still a lovely game that could be seen as a less foreboding, more cutesy alternative to Dead Cells. It casts you as Robin, a girl who's cast out as a fugitive after finding herself at the wrong end of the twisted politics of an alien world. It's a good plot, even though your role in it is mainly blasting your way through the non-linear levels. Robin acquires all kinds of imaginative upgrades, the most crucial of which is her wrench, which you use to do everything from deflecting projectiles to solving the clever little environmental puzzles. Iconoclast is a joyful, vibrant platformer, borrowing from greats like Mega Man for its combat and Metroid for its exploration. You can do a lot worse than take inspiration from those two classics. Conclusion OK, that's it for our picks of the best Linux games to have come out in 2018. Have you dug up any gaming gems that we've missed? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, then please tap that like button, leave a comment and also perhaps visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. 
We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android and everything in between so we'll almost definitely have something for you. Plus if you feel so inclined hit the subscribe button and never miss our latest videos and hey why not hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay as always thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time. <laughs>